Welcome. There are many strategies to reduce flood risk. Some rely on the actions of individual property owners, while others require community-level investments. Join us for the next five minutes to learn about an integrated approach the district government is exploring with public space construction projects. Traditional approaches to public space construction projects for flood management focus on community scale investments that block, deflect, or safely convey large storms away from our roads and buildings. This can include levees, tunnels, dams, culverts, earthwork, and more. These investments are called gray infrastructure. Like all local governments, the District of Columbia makes strategic gray investments to ensure safety during large storms. Additionally, the district is one of several cities around the world pioneering a community-level construction approach to reduce flood risk by making our public spaces more accommodating to rain and floodwaters. This approach is called Blue-Green Infrastructure, or BGI. Here we explore what BGI is and the nuances of what it offers communities. You may be familiar with the green component of blue-green infrastructure. During the past 15 years, the district has been at the forefront of the move towards green infrastructure to better manage the impact of the runoff from urban rainfall to protect our streams and rivers from pollution. To encourage the adoption of green infrastructure, the district's River Smart programs for homes, schools, communities, and rooftops have been providing incentives to install rainwater friendly technology, such as rain gardens, green roofs, permeable pavements, and rain barrels. Now, because of recent construction rules for new building and roadway projects, it is common to see these green infrastructure technologies installed around city. This widespread implementation of green infrastructure is having a positive restorative effect on our streams and rivers as polluted stormwater is reduced and naturally cleaned before it gets into our rivers. Blue Green Infrastructure, or BGI, takes green infrastructure a step further. It is an integrated planning approach for community-wide investments to reduce flood risk and lessen building damage during large storms. The BGI approach uses models and mapping to create a master plan for the strategic placement, sizing, and connections of green and gray technologies to better manage large and small storms creatively within urban green spaces. Using the BGI approach, a sports field may take on a dual purpose, hosting sporting events during dry weather and providing a temporary flood storage during large storms. With the BGI approach, green street design elements, such as porous sidewalks, alleys, and parking lanes, expansive tree boxes, and curbside rain gardens, are interconnected with a street profile for surface conveyance and adjacent parks for temporary flood storage. A storm can be characterized by its inches of rain and the time it takes for those inches to fall. A cloudburst storm is a short, intense rainstorm. This kind of storm can overwhelm components of gray infrastructure, like pipes and manholes, and cause temporary interior flooding. The blue-green infrastructure approach adds capacity to a sewer shed to reduce a cloudburst's ability to overwhelm the city's gray infrastructure. By strategically connecting green practices with added design capacity for floodwaters, the blue side of the BGI approach, a neighborhood has improved odds for safely storing and conveying a cloudburst event. For communities investing in blue-green infrastructure, the benefits gained go well beyond flood protection. There's increased access to public green spaces, there are water savings due to less pumping, energy savings due to less AC usage, air quality improvements, and a lower carbon footprint. Traditionally, these co-benefits were not included in the decision-making processes for flood risk management, but recent updates to FEMA's metrics for funding may encourage the consideration of co-benefit values for community-scale projects. The district has taken its first steps towards a community-scale blue-green infrastructure master plan 
with its initial analysis of BGI opportunities, flood functions, and community co-benefits within Watts Branch, the Anacostia River tributary running alongside the Marvin Gaye Park. Large areas of Maryland's Prince George's County drain to Watts Branch before it reaches the district and the many Ward 7 neighborhoods that drain to it, including Mayfair, Eastland Gardens, Central Northeast, Lincoln Heights, Capitol View, Deanwood, and Marshall Heights. This densely populated community is vulnerable to flooding from the branch, and climate change is expected to worsen the risks. The Watts Branch Cloudburst Concept Plan considers blue-green infrastructure projects at the watershed scale. Maps and illustrative renderings show how a network of projects could work. Marvin Gay Park has the capacity to store runoff in the stream's floodplain. Some water draining to this floodplain could also be conveyed through cloudburst roads, which are designed to convey runoff along one side of the street while leaving one travel lane open for traffic. A central retention area would receive the runoff at the base of the street. The BGI approach to flood control has been demonstrated in a few cities around the world. A BGI leader, Copenhagen, Denmark, is working toward the implementation of 300 interconnected projects identified in a citywide comprehensive BGI plan. Now that you know more about blue-green infrastructure, we hope that you will get involved and help your community and government make good, informed, risk-ready decisions for their infrastructure investments.